to say that I'm excited about this one is definitely an understatement because inside this box is my very first designed circuit board. If you are a regular on the channel, you would know that uh, about two videos ago, I've designed a PCB using KiCad for the very first time. And what we end up with is this RGB module that I'm planning to use on my stairs lighting project. And you can check out the video in the video description about it. And today I'm going to open the package that I received with the PCBs and we'll see how they look and we'll see how similar are those to the, the ones that we designed and sent for uh, for a manufacturer to PCB Way. This video is sponsored by PCB Way, uh, which are a PCB manufacturer in China that you can send your project and get 10 PCBs in two layers for only five dollars and we'll see in this video we will see how those PCBs will look like. They offer a lot of options where you can get different thickness of PCBs, different layers and different uh, solder finish so your projects will definitely look professional. Let's first start by removing some of this tape that the package is glued with. Okay, so that was packed in nicely. Now, let's see what we have inside. So if you followed the, the video where I did design this and I sent it to manufacturer for PCB way, I chose that my boards will be panelized. And the reason for that is because the board is circular. It will be really difficult for them to manufacture such small boards. So I wanted to have them on panels. And also by doing panels, I can have a lot more boards manufacturers. Manufacturer, I probably need about 40 of this and we have more than enough here. It appears that when they were packaging this because they pack it in a vacuum forming machine and we have holes in the design so that also got glued in so they were safe and secure. And we have them free now. Okay, so the first thing that I notice is that the print on the silk screen is not that consistent. So you can see that there's like a, some sort of bubbles that form. Let's see some of the others. Uh, but it's definitely visible. And let's see the rest of the silk screen. So the labels on the components look okay. And let's see the other side. So we have the five volt rails, we have the D in and D out ground. We have the website is the code.com and also the name of the module, which is the RGB light model version 0.1. Here on the front, we have the copper text that we added. So that turned out really nice. I really like that. And all in all, this, this looks really, really good. When I ordered the boards, I also ordered some of these RGB LEDs and also some of the required uh, capacitors that are on the board. If we check the placement of the footprints, we can see that they match perfectly, which is good. And now the plan is that I try to solder some of these boards and we'll see if they work. If we made a mistake or not, bear with me. This is my first time soldering SMD components on a board like this. And right now at the moment, I don't have a solder paste to do it with the, with the hot air gun. I'm still waiting on that to, to arrive. So 
I'll use the regular soldering iron with the tiny with the small tip to to try and solder it out. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so here's the setup. I have the board placed in this uh, grip that I have here, and I'll be using the JCD8898 soldering station that I got from Banggood. You can check the video up here, and we'll see how that goes. The plan is that I first add a bit of solder to one of the pads of the board, and I then place the component and tack it in place, and then solder the other lead on the other side. As I said, this is the first time that I do this, so I have no idea how it will go. And here goes nothing. Okay, so we have solder on one of the pads, and I'll add on one of the pads of the LED. I'll do the same for all of the components. Now with the tweezers, I'll place the component on one end. Okay, that wasn't too bad. It's not the nicest of solder joints that I've done. Let's try and... Yeah, I probably have too much solder. I think that should do. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. Basically, both the board and the components were taking up solder really nicely. So it took me, I don't know, five to 10 minutes to solder this board. And keep in mind that this is the first one that I'm doing. And all of the LEDs are arranged in such a way that pin one is the uh, VCC and the opposite one where we have this notch on the LED is connected to the ground. So here to the ground and this one goes to VCC and it's all the same on all of the boards. Now what's left to do is that I build a simple sketch on one of the microcontrollers and we can hook this up to see if it works or not. Here is the setup that I have. I have an Arduino Nano and I'm pulling five volts and ground going to the board here. Uh, directly from the USB, we have a small number of LEDs, so that should not be a problem. And I have pin six connected from the Arduino with a 360 ohm resistor uh, going to the D-in in on the board. So I haven't tried this yet. Here on the Arduino, I'm basically using just the uh, strand test uh, example that comes from Adafruit. And I only changed the LED count to be three LED instead of the original 60. And I'll try now to upload. And this is the first time that I'm doing this. So hopefully, fingers crossed, everything works. Uh, now the sketch is still compiling and it's uploading. Okay, we have something. LEDs are definitely working, but I'm not sure about the pattern. So this one is the first LED, this one is second, and this one is third. So uh, there is a time where the first one is not really uh, being lit up. 
I'm not sure why that is. I'll try to write a different program to kind of cycle the colors on this LED and see how that goes. Okay, my bad. Uh, it turns out that I had the wrong sketch. I had the RGBW, which stands for red, green, blue, white LEDs selected. So, and obviously I don't have those LEDs here. I just have the simple RGB LEDs and I will change the example and it all seems to work nicely. As you can see, it now cycles through the rainbow colors and hopefully this means that the design that we did for the uh, for the board works and I can now continue to solder to the rest of the boards and that would be the next thing that I want to try where we now have multiple boards in series uh, so we can confirm that the output of one connects properly to the input of the second one because that's the way that I plan to drive this on the final project. And here are three of the modules finished. So I've soldered two more and I also connected them on the bottom on the solder pad where the output of the first goes to the input of the second and uh, the input of the output of the second goes to the input of the third. Uh, we should now be able to update the sketch and all three modules will do the strand test. I'm hitting upload now. And the sketch is compiling. We should start and see the communication here soon. Here it goes. And once that finishes, nothing. Okay, let's inspect. I've increased the LED count to nine. So that should be fine. And uh, let's see what we have on the back. Is it maybe a solder connection? Let me inspect and I'll get back. And that was easy to be fixed. It turned out that I had missed one of the joints that were on the first LED of the second module. So the signal was coming out of the first board coming into the second, but uh, that was not connected. As you can see, if I reset this, uh, we'll see that it goes through the filling in of all the colors. Then it goes through the blinking and it do, does the rainbow. Not sure how much you can see that from the light. I'll try to block some of it. Uh, but the important thing is that all of the module works. And I didn't miss any of the connections, which... To be fair, I'm really surprised because this is my very first board that I uh, ever designed and I'm really happy with the design. Overall, I'm extremely happy with how this board's turned out, especially with the fact that I didn't manage to screw anything up and that they all work. The manufacturing job on the uh, PCB way was exceptional, so the only real issue, which is not an issue at all, is this solder mask that's on the, the logo. I'm not sure if uh, that's my fault or not, uh, that they, they have like a sort of bubbles. But other than that, functionally and visually, the boards look really nice. And if you want to order some of the boards for yourself, I have this module shared on their website and you can find the link down in the description so you can directly order the same boards as I have. And additionally, if you already ordered some PCBs from PCBWay, they currently host an activity where you can share your feedback regarding those boards. And all you need to do is send some uh, pictures of your boards that you received and with that you will be able to win some cash coupons that you can later on use for future orders and with that said thank you for watching and i'll see you all in the next one cheers